गाइज वट्स आई होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग गुड एंड वेलकम बैक टू दिस न्यू ब्लॉग इन दिस ब्लॉग आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू शिप इन टू गिव यू शिप इन जो रूम फुल टू सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम एज आई गॉट मैनी थिंग्स टू शो यू लेट स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो बिफोर गोइंग टू इंजर रूम आई नीड टू पुट ऑन कवर ऑल्स ओके गाइज कवर ऑल ऑन सो लेट्स गो टू इंजर रूम बिफोर क्लोजिंग दिस डोर आई एम फॉर गेटिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट इज दिस रेडियो इट हैज टू बी विद मी ऑल द टाइम so this is very important because in case of any emergency you will be aware that something is going wrong on this radio or if you caught in any emergency then you can inform to the bridge or to the engine room okay let's go so i will call elevator So I will go upper deck. So guys, I will go upper deck first, and there is a changing room. I need to wear my safety shoes and the safety helmet. Okay, let's go out. So guys, before going to the engine room, that is the heart of the vessel. So you need to wear the safety helmet, safety shoes, coveralls, and the main thing is ear protection. Ear protection is very important because the engine room area is high noise zone, highly noise zone. So, guys, I'm entering to the ECR, that is engine control room. You can say this is the brain of the ship. From here, you can monitor, control, and operate the main engine and other auxiliary machinery. and this is main switch board msb here we have a group starter panels and here we have a number 2 feeder panel that is 440 volt and uh, this is for uh, number 3 generator this is synchronization panel number 2 generator number 1 generator and number 1 feeder panel few more group starter panels then this is 220 feeder panel and here we have some uh, lockout tag out lockout station and this is a computer that we can use for our daily work and this is and this is ecc that is engine control console and here we have a display of cams this is cams number 1 cams 2 and telephone and this is tel telegraph telegraph that you can see stop dead slow slow half full full ahead for the engine for the main engine and uh, there are a lot of equipment that is used to monitor the whole parameters of the ships and guys this is the way port side so guys from here we can go all the way to the forward this is the port side passage way from here we can go all the way forward to the forecastle so this is the warning sign you need to wear the ear protection Here we are entering to the engine room. So this is the main engine of the ship with six units and generate thirteen thousand two hundred kilowatt of power. Maximum service speed eighteen point three knots at ninety three RPM. This is the aircon unit number one and aircon unit number two for ECR. Let's go guys inside engine room workshop. So this is the engine room workshop. It's not so spacious like a triple E workshop but it is enough to work over here. This is aircon unit for the workshop. Guys, in engine room there are two places. One is ECR that is engine control room and another one is workshop where we have this aircon and you can have a good and cold air. Rest other places are very humid and hot. 
so little bit difficult to walk there so here you can see this is bench wise and a lot of tool for working and uh, here this is a lath machine so this is a lath machine and few more tools here and uh, this is electric table and this is electric test panel and uh, this one is welding area and uh, here we have a grinder welding area and one fire extinguisher one fire extinguisher this is very important here guys this is engine room stores where we keep our engine room machineries and main engine spare parts and electrical spare part as well as you can see this is very very spacious and enough to keep all the spare parts over here and this is one more cans here in the stores room so that we can monitor whatever the alarm is coming on the machinery easily from here no need to go to ecr and it will save your time Yes, here we go guys. Now we are in main air compressor area. So this is compressor number 1, 2 and 3. They compresses air and stored in those bottles. So this air is used to start main engine and diesel generators. And here you can see there are two machinery. This is called control air compressor. So this compressor generates control air and this control air using for other things like a for operating the pneumatic valves and uh, working on deck and this is service air reservoir this is dg start air reservoir so guys this is steering gear system on board which help the vessel to turn maximum 30 degree port side and maximum 30 degree starboard side guys these are electric motors for generating hydraulic pressure inside the hydraulic tank and there are four motor on the steering gear system and this is the shaft which is connected all the way to the rudder and these two red color painted electric motors they are connected on a emergency switchboard and these are uh, steering gear motor starter panels Now we are on third deck so let's start with this equipment this is BWTS that is ballast water treatment system so before discharging ballast water we need to treat this water in this system so that we can kill all the micro organisms which destroy the ecosystem of the sea water So guys we have entered in a purifier room these are purifier room which is used to separate the unwanted material from the fuel supply and uh, here you can see number of purifiers we have for different different fuels all the purifier feed pump and circulating pump and heaters you can find here guys let's go to generator rooms which uh, produces electricity on board and here is the control panel for this generator and from here we can start auto and manually and we also can start uh, automatic from the cams which was uh, in ecr as this is the engine of the generator with 8 units and this is the alternator of the generator so guys now we are entering to the generator room number 1 and 2 so this is number 2 with a capacity of 1200 kilowatt power and uh, this one is number 1 and number 3 it has a capacity of 1600 kilowatt power this is the generator local control panel and this is the governor of this generator and guys this is low voltage ship 
there are two kind of ship one is low voltage ship and uh, high voltage ship so the ship generate more than 1000 volt means it's a high voltage ship and the ship generates less than 1000 volt consider as a low voltage ship so on board we have 440 volts so we so we have low voltage ship this is sewage treatment plant on board for treating the sewage this is the control panel from here we can easily control the sewage plant so guys now we are entering to the pump area here you can see this is the pump starter panels fresh water cooling pump auxiliary cooling pumps and all so all the number of pumps are here and, and this is very important equipment on board this is called a fresh water generator which generate fresh water using sea water with the principle of condensation process we have all kind of pumps that sea water cooling pump fresh water cooling pump lt cooling pump ht cooling pumps everything and here we have a uh, ST coolers, LT coolers. And this is called crankcase door. One, two, three, four, five, six crankcase door. This is used to inspect the crankcase inspection. Guys, here we have a flywheel which transfer power to the shaft and this is turning gear in case of a crankcase inspection we can engage this turning gear to this flywheel and we can rotate the engine and we can easily inspect the crankcase and cabin inspection as well. So this is the shaft which is connected to the propeller all the way up. Guys, this is loop oil pump for circulating loop oil inside this engine. So, guys, here this is explosion relief valve. In case of any explosion inside the main engine, this is the weakest point, or you can say relief valve. It will immediately open. And this is a emergency escape. So in case of fire or any other emergency, if you need to escape, this is the safest way to escape from this area. So guys, this is a OWS that is oily water separator. So this is the control panel from here we can operate this OWS. So there is an instruction and procedure that how to operate this OWS system. So by following this, you can easily operate this machinery. And guys, uh, this is sea chest, this is starboard side sea chest. And uh, there we have a port side sea chest. And from where we take a suction of a sea water with using a sea water pumps. And inside this sea chest, we have a cathode and anode. So for an albunia, which act as a cathode and anode and prevent this marine growth system so this is called mgps marine growth preventing system so guys that's all we have in this engine room now i will go all the way up to show you auxiliary boiler So guys, uh, this is the auxiliary boiler or oil fired boiler which is used to generate steam for the vessel and this is the burner control panel. From here we can operate this boiler manually. Normally we keep it in auto. So automatically according to the demand of steam it uh, start and stop automatically. And this is for the exhaust gas boiler. Sorry guys, excuse the sweat please. It's very hot here, so let's go out. So let's go out of this engine room, and uh, I will show you deck outside. So guys, now 
we are on deck so if you like this video so don't forget to hit the bell icon and subscribe my channel and please share this video and if you need more videos on engine room just let me know in the comment section or any question that you want to ask me just let me know in the comment section i would be very happy to reply on them and being able to interact with you guys thank you so much keep supporting till then see you bye bye take care and currently we are at the end bridge and waiting for our turn to go inside